All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenzo. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenzo Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is Break Your Rules. And I know that sounds kind of wacky, um, but it's regarding your habits and kind of what we do throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year, whatever the case may be. And um, I'm not saying when I say that I do the opposite to of what you normally do. Because uh, that's something I know a lot of people talk about doing as well, which is quite interesting. I've tried that actually. But what I'm going to get into today is something I'm actually going to do a video on as well regarding fitness, kind of breaking all your rules. Um, and what I mean by that, I could just throw that in here, is a lot of people get caught up doing the same routines. If you watch any of my YouTube, I do a lot of fitness videos. And people burn out a lot of times when it comes to fitness, working out, or any type of exercise because I think they fall into a rut in their life. They keep doing the same shit over and over again. And listen, at the beginning, it may have gotten them results or it may keep giving them results, but they're not inspired. They feel bogged down, tired, fatigued. And I think this happens in life as well, right? And um, sometimes I learn more about myself by breaking my own rules, if that makes sense. That could be going, you know, I used to only want to work out hypothetically. I'll bring that into play at night later because I was never rushed and I was always working during the day. And then all of a sudden I had kids, right? Actually, I had one daughter and I was waiting for her my whole life and I said, hey, you know, I got to work all day and then if I go work out at night and then I get home, she's going to bed. I was aggravated at that. So, and I am not a morning person. When, When I had her, I started working out in the mornings and I am not a morning person, but I fought through it for like a substantial amount of time. Then eventually I just learned to work out during the times I wanted, which was either in the morning or very late at night because again, I had another daughter and I wanted to spend a lot of time with them or as much as possible. But I had to break my own rule because you're talking somebody who liked working out basically in the later evening or late at night, his entire, my entire life, except maybe after school, you know, when you're younger, your teens and things. But um, I started to, in my life, because also I had to travel for the last 10 years. You know, a lot of people I'll just use, for instance, they always convince you to take flights in the morning or early morning flights because you got to get there. It's always the rush to get there, right? You got to get there and just in case your flights are delayed and uh, you want to get there because, you know, you get the whole day there and blah, blah, blah. And I was doing that for many, many years and I despised it. Getting up at like, you know, you got to catch a six o'clock flight, uh, 7.30 flight, even if it's an eight o'clock flight, you're getting up at three, four in the morning. You're getting on this plane. I'm half exhausted. I get to the destination, fight through it. I want to work out sometimes. I'm exhausted. Go to bed later that night. It could be a time change or not. Then the next morning, you got to get up early. I mean, it just screwed me up. So I broke basically all the rules of that. And I said, no, I'm going to stick to the schedule I have that I live. And I never got sick, never felt bogged down. So I would catch 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock flights in the afternoon because a lot of, or I'd go the day before if I knew I had to do something there the next day. Whatever the case may be, that was a game changer for me. And everybody to this day kind of still argues with me. And I'm like, listen, I wake up at the same time or I try to. So my life is, it just feels a lot better. I know what type of sleep I'm going to get, how much sleep I'm going to get. And that worked for me. And you may be in a position in your life where you may have these rules that are actually not helping you a lot of times, but hurting you. And I get a lot of people like, yeah, we get it, Rich. You know, I got to have a cup of coffee in the morning, right? Maybe you don't. And I like coffee, believe me. But you may not need that in your system immediately, even though you think you do. And God bless you if you do. You may want to try a smoothie, something healthy. You may want to try oatmeal. You may want to just try orange juice in something else, for instance. And just, again, break your rule. And it could also be a financial situation a lot of times. And it could be, back to coffee, a lot of people can't afford to, say, hypothetically go to Starbucks all the time. And I like Starbucks, believe me. But if you're spending, like they say a lot of times, you know, between 4 and $6 on something there, times it by the month, times it by the day. And if you can't afford your car payment at the end of the month, but you're spending $200 on Starbucks and your car payment's only a couple hundred dollars, you got to kind of figure those things out. That's kind of obvious. But I think in relationships too, a lot of times, no matter what relationship, We get into, we have all these rules and we expect somebody else to abide to those rules. And that goes for family members, friends, and colleagues and at work as well. You have rules, they work, it gets shit done. I get it. If it works for you, it works. Okay. But also there may be things you can change that are going to be actually a lot more beneficial. You just can't seem to see it right now. 
it's kind of like anything in life. Like you keep doing the same shit over and, uh, you know, you get results. Sometimes you don't, but you kind of find yourself bored or bogged down again and kind of in a rut. And I think this happens again, back to relationships. And it's not only with women or men or whatever, it's with your friends too. You know, you may even want to do different things. Your thing may be date nights, Friday night and Saturdays, kid night or this or this. Maybe switch it up. Maybe switch it up. With your friends too, maybe a lot of us, you know, we all go to the same type of restaurants because we like, like them or we do the same type of things with our friends. Again, bring up, maybe switch things up. Maybe go to a different place. Maybe do something that none of you have ever done before. And again, breaking your own rules because I could speak for myself, you know, for the most part. I only like eating in Italian restaurants, but lately my girlfriend, her kids, my kids, everybody to be going, you know, I should say during the pandemic, I said, I am sick of every restaurant for the most part, except my close friends that mainly own Italian restaurants. If we're going to go out to eat, we're going to basically for the most part, try a different restaurant. Every time we go out, we go out a lot. And lately that's what we've been doing. Sure. Once in a while, I'll go to a place that, you know, that we miss, but it has been so fun doing that. And before, I was a guy who was like, no, we can only go to places we know that has good food. We only could go to a place that maybe we know the people or we've gone through, you know, we've been going through for years. And I was the one that really had all these goddamn rules. I was sick of going out to eat, for one, because I'm always going to the same places. So it's kind of a no-brainer. But I think a lot of us do this in life. So, you know, I just want to do a podcast on this, breaking your own rules, because I'll tell you the God's honest truth. I see a lot of people friends, family members, and colleagues. And, you know, they're always talking about their life a lot of times, how boring it is. It could be even with their wives or their husbands or whatever the case may be. You create your own life, you know. Even if you don't have money, you want to do things that aren't, you know, that don't cost a lot of money. You can do that, but you've got to break your own damn rules. I get a lot of times, you know, we, you know, if you you like going out for steak dinner, hypothetically. And, you know, you can't afford to say during the pandemic or Corona or whatever. And then you stop going out entirely. It's only got to be a steak dinner, right? Uh, Break your own rules, man. There's other, go for a burger, go somewhere different, try different stuff. I'm always telling people, I think the one thing that is lost as we get older, a lot of times, I don't know why it's experimenting. I talk about a lot with fitness. You know, the more you experiment, the more you're going to discover what you like and don't like. And I should actually do a podcast. I think I have before. But yeah, back to your rules. We create these rules where they're so structured. And we think these rules are what makes us happy. And if you're not that happy, then obviously the rules that you've created for yourself aren't working. You really sometimes have to sit back. And also, I am going to wrap it up with this. How you treat other people regarding your rules How open-minded are you? I get we all have core beliefs. You may have religious beliefs, political beliefs, and that's wonderful. Okay? I get it. But don't always expect everybody to obey to your rules. Okay? Just like you're not going to obey to theirs. Also, if people want to experiment, you know, or or if you, you know, try different things, again, back to, you know, you, I can speak for myself, I now I'm open-minded to break my rule to try somebody else's or whatever they're doing, okay? So, and a lot of times I'm realizing the more I'm doing something different maybe with somebody else, the more I'm enjoying it. Because before it was, it was my way, I can't say it was a highway. Of course, I was kind of open-minded to try different things. But now it's like when I look at things, it's kind of like my eyes are open. I'm almost like a child the older I'm getting. And um, sometimes too, I know a lot of people are set in their rules, like a lot of my, like our parents or other people, family members, and they only like to go to certain places. And a lot of times we're like, oh my God, I got to go do this again, or we got to go do this again. Um, you know, sometimes you do have to just, you know, kind of have some fun and do the same shit over and over again. But when it comes to your own self, I would really consider trying different things more than anything else and breaking those rules. Um, so, all right, I'm going to wrap it up there. You get a chance. Check out uh, my website, richchalenza.com. I got a lot of different things on there regarding my programs. And uh, what else do I got? I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I'm on YouTube. If you like, check that out. I've been doing a lot of things related to fitness, but also my favorite restaurants and um, gyms and many other things throughout North America. All right, take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.